Tebow, an Ewok scout. Tebow sounded a horn summoning the Ewoks to fight the Stormtroopers during the Battle of Endor. Hello and welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we're reviewing from the Return of the Jedi, Tebow, the Ewok. Now this is a few waves ago, I sadly missed out. Well I didn't really miss out, there was just so many figures that just kept pouring out that sadly this guy took the back burner. But I have him now in my little mitts. So looking at him, we've got him here in the window display with his weapons and a little knife at the top there. We've got that nice green that just transcends around the actual box itself into the picture on the side and him looking very mean. On the back, we've got that picture again and his bio and he's number two in Return of the Jedi. Just the one after Akbar before the uh, Heroes of Endor pack. And this is our second Ewok as well as the first Ewok was in that Heroes of End pack. Uh, unfortunately, I just missed out on that as well. So, without further ado, let's just crack this bad boy open. So here he is in his blister pack. Uh, no hidden accessories in there because obviously he's about half the size of a normal Black Series figure. Um, so we've got a lot of empty space. So what we do, we take out it for his first impressions. And yeah, he's actually looking really nice, really furry and um, pretty cool. So we're going to go away, take some photos, and we'll see you. So here he is, looking all fine and dandy, and I must say, I think Hasbro have done an absolutely awesome job on these guys. Um, I was always a bit iffy and worried what they might do with Ewoks, but um, yeah, they've actually really initiated the, the look and everything on there, and I think they deserve a pat on the back for these guys. Um, and now they've got the body, I mean, to be honest, they can just use it and keep respraying it and giving us different accessories and bringing out other Ewoks as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, he, this guy is packed full of accessories as well. Uh, whether you count all these removal parts as accessories or just these parts. So he come with three initial accessories in the actual box itself. And one of them was his tiny little battle axe. And uh, this takes me back to it as a kid. Uh, it looks very much like the old Kenner one that he come with way back when. So we got the actual detail there for the sort of slate rock with all the wraps around it. Unfortunately, there's no weathering or anything on there. It's made of a bit of a bendy plastic. Um, and I think the accessories is kind of where the paint applications is a little bit let down. His other accessory that it comes with is his spear. And we've got the little bit of fur at the top there. The little rock kind of part with the wraps around it, holding it in place. And again, back down to that kind of uh, very sort of cheap looking wooden spear part at the bottom but still pretty good accessories. The other one he come with was his little knife in his little holster that he has on the side here on this little sheath. And um, again, made of like a little rock and uh, wrap again, and that can easily just fit in his hand. But if you want to take it a little bit further, other accessories as well, his actually hat is removable. I thought at first it was glued in, but it actually does come off. And um, yeah, so it just shows you there's no sort of glue parts on there. So they can actually make these multiple times and just put different things over their head and different things like that. But, um, the hat itself, looking at it, we've got that kind of walrus kind of uh, pig head. And the detail on there is actually fantastic with its tusks and hoofs coming out. And around on the back, we've got a bit of braids and some stitching. And then just popping that back on to his head and there we have it and all these other parts are removable as well uh, they're all kind of loose so if you want you could just pop off his head and actually just take off the rest over the top but going through that we can actually go through his articulation as well and boy is he packed full of articulation for a little guy so we can go left we can go right you can look down you can look up we've got a bit of a lower neck movement in there and upper head movement as it's a double ball joint Arm wise, we've got the rotation here and it goes up to this far. Rotation at the elbow, 
one single jointed elbow bend but it does go up further than 90 degrees we've got the rotation at the wrist and there's also a hinge inside there rotation at the waist which is a very nice swivel down this far and back this far leg wise they come out this wide forward back and then we've got kind of a rotation at the knee here one single joint here that comes up this far and then we've got the rocker and a pivot at the ankle with a bit of a swivel there as well and yeah just absolutely insanely detailed and looks absolutely fantastic i don't know why i held off for this guy i was buying all the other figures and i thought oh, i'll just leave him on the back burner but um yeah i wish i got him sooner because i just absolutely love him uh, but yeah just looking at the actual detail as well we can look at those eyes a little bit more closer got that gloss those little ewok nose and lips with his fur I mean, actually going down to the fur parts as well it, it just looks fantastic on the hands and the fur around on there the coloring on the back just look at that part there the detail with the camera picking it up it just looks brilliant the only thing i would say is that on his bio he does say that he's the one that sounds the horn but you can't really bring the horn up it's unfortunate it's, it's stuck to that so it would be great for this bit to be removable so we could actually bring it up to his mouth to um, demonstrate him blowing the horn, I guess. But um, yeah, apart from that, he's absolutely really fantastic and I'm really glad I got him. And you know what, he is a bit smaller than other figures for 1999, but they've put the detail in there, they've actually put the effort in there. There is a few sort of paint applications, maybe on the accessories that they could have done a little bit extra with, but actually the actual sculpt of the Ewok looks incredible. So thank you for joining me on this one, I think. Uh, if you do go out and get this one, just let me know what you think of these guys, because I think they're great. And you can comment down below, you can follow me on Instagram, which is in the description, and I'll catch you soon. Take care. Bye.